Welcome back, welcome back. We are here on a Friday, cute Fridays. I'm in my beautiful, beautiful 2017 Lamborghini SV. My baby, baby, you know what I'm saying? This is one of the babies that don't get a put up for sale. I don't even think about it, nah, all right? So this topic today is a very controversial topic, of course. Um, topic that, you know, obviously everybody's going to have their own opinion on, obviously everybody's going to have, you know, their own views on it and that kind of stuff. Hey, by all means, it's all good. Whatever works for you, you know what I'm saying? But like I always say, make sure you have an opinion, but also be able to back up that opinion and don't just be talking just to fucking talk, you know what I'm saying? Like if you say that this works and that works... Make sure that you're fucking taking full advantage of it and actually making it work for you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, today's topic is called big accounts, big trading accounts versus small trading accounts. Like, what are my thoughts on it? What are my viewpoints? Um, how I how I actually look about going about both of those type of accounts. Um, very different. You know what I'm saying? Very very different mindsets overall very different strategies that is needed to actually grow both accounts very um different let's say where are you in life to even like grow it in in some kind of way you know what i'm saying like i feel like all all those viewpoints matter all those points matter when it comes to those those two types of accounts okay so um when it comes to a small account when it comes to a small account i feel like you have you have to apply a lot more skills. Definitely a lot more a lot more skill is involved to grow a small account than a big account, in a sense, because with a small account, you have smaller capital, you have smaller room for error, you have smaller um, leverage, like your margin is smaller, everything's just smaller, and you gotta pretty much make that shit fucking work. And that's why um if a smaller account was easier to build, then a lot of people would be millionaires and a lot of people would be making just a great amount of money every single year, you know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to grow a small account, you know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like it's a lot easier to grow a big account because the big account, you could you could put in, you know, let's say like one order and just make it fluctuate, have a sloppy entry, sloppy this, sloppy that, not really care about the drawdown, like you care less when it comes to a big account. You know what I'm saying? As far as like, if you were trying to swing trade and that kind of thing. Um, if you're trying to trade as aggressively like how you would a small account as far as like, um, let's say, you know, putting more on the line, more, more risk, more aggressiveness when it comes to a big account, like how you would a small account since it's smaller capital, you know, your hits are gonna be bigger on a big account if you're using the same kind of mindset like how you was when it comes to the small account. You know what I'm saying? So, the big account, um, when I'm talking about when it comes to big accounts, I'm talking about, it could be, let's say, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000. All those I'll consider as big accounts, especially like when it comes to 50K plus. You know, making, five, making 2%, 5% a month, that's nothing, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's easy with those kind of accounts because you can literally just trade on like an H4 time frame and just pretty much like let shit fluctuate. Don't don't really care about drawdown and just, you know, eventually go on profit based on your analysis, but it's not gonna be as precise and skill-driven like how it comes to a small account. A small account, everything has to be on point. As far as your entries, you gotta pretty much make sure they're, they're precise to the point that you see minimum drawdown, but, but but you're able to pretty much take advantage of your leverage and, and you know, know how to actually scale that account to the point that you can make, you know, a couple hundred here, a couple hundred here, a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there, based on how you trade and based on your skill set level. You know what I'm saying? Like when it comes to a big account, um, the skill set level doesn't have to be so precise, so on point, so just fine tuned when it comes to a big account. You know, like you could get to a point that, you know, you're analyzing less because, you know, you have all this this room to breathe when it comes to a, a fluctuating um, position. You know what I'm saying? Like all those things matter when it comes to growing a big account because, 
you don't really need much as far as like it's just you kind of slack more when it comes to a big account i feel like you literally slack more when it comes to a big account with a small account you have to be on it like you have to be just on point as far as how i see it you know what i'm saying because um i've i've done let's say like i've, I've done big accounts um like i internal transfer like some profits like i had a bunch of profits in my broker this one time i i put it um i invested i started my account with 600k i grew that to 1.8 mil and then i lost 300 000. like what the fuck because i got to a point that i i started analyzing less I, I started doing you know i started getting sloppy with my analysis yes i it still went from 600 000 to 1.8 million but then how could I make myself lose three hundred thousand? I just got sloppy with it. I just started caring about my my level of precision a lot less because it was a big account. It was like an account that had so much room to fluctuate that I just like to stop being as disciplined. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've done um, small accounts with like uh, I did a uh, what one thousand one thousand dollars to seventy four thousand, fifteen hundred dollars like fifty thousand. Um, and those accounts take discipline It takes precision It takes all these things Because you're not working with much You know what I'm saying And and, and what you have to work with you, you gotta make sure that shit is working The best possible way That it's effective to actually grow the account You know what I'm saying um, So like it's it's just a bit more skill involved When it comes to growing a thousand dollar account A five hundred dollar account Like all those things And, and the, the craziest part that people forget is you could have a hundred dollar account and that shit can grow to a million dollars it's physically or te technologically possible or technically possible to make that happen once you build your account to let's say a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars okay obviously it's going to take you longer to actually build it to, to that amount based on the amount of leverage and, and based on the amount of margin that, that that you have inside the account and you can't really flex the account like how you want to because it's only a hundred dollars obviously it's going to take you some time to get to a thousand dollars you know unless you're going balls deep and just saying fuck it one order one risk like it's all these things are possible is it smart not really but at the same time it is possible so think about it if i said that i had did a thousand dollars to seventy four thousand in a week all right Imagine if a person did a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, then they have all rights to still do the thousand dollars, or they have the possibility to still do the thousand dollars to the seventy-four thousand, like how I did. So it's kind of like if I grew a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars, and then a thousand dollars to seventy-four thousand. Technically, I've only invested a hundred dollars, but it took a lot of skill to get to the point that I'm growing that account. As far as I'm upping my lot size, as I'm, I'm gradually growing the account, like all these things have to happen. All these things have to happen in a small account. With a big account, like, I'm telling you, like, you just, like, you're not as on your shit because you're in, like, a maintaining stage when it comes to a big account. You know what I'm saying? Like, with a big account, like, you'll settle for, let's say, 10% a month or, you know what I'm saying? Like, that kind of shit. But when it comes to um, growing an account, you're in the growing stage. You, you can't risk or you can't fuck up as much like how you could on a big account. So like before you even like start your journey, that kind of shit, like understand where you are in your journey. Are you at a point that you're in your growing stage or are you at a point that you're in your maintaining stage? You know what I'm saying? Like those two things matter. Are you in your growing stage or are you, are you in your maintaining stage? Which means that if you're in your, your growing stage, you're not going to be able to actually, you know, you're not gonna want to risk as much per, per trade, or you know, you're not gonna risk. I'm um, losing th this amount of profits or that amount of profits. Like that's why, like a lot of times, like when pe when people get to a point that they um they tell me that they're trying to grow their account, but but they're risking like a certain percentage and that kind of stuff. Like it's um it's kind of hard to actually get to a point that that you're getting into that that maintaining stage, which means that when you're in that maintaining stage, you're just you know you're making some profits here profits there but you're not like so aggressively trying to grow that account you know what i'm saying like you're not like at a point that um if you lose 
10, 20 percent of the account, like you're gonna fucking go 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 crazy as hell. When it comes to the maintaining stage, you a lot of times will risk 10 percent, 15 percent, 20 percent. Like I've done that. You know what I'm saying? Like if I have a hundred hundred thousand um, dollars account, I'm risking. I'll I'll be so down to to risk fifteen fifteen thousand dollars, which is fifteen percent. At times.